Hello everyone. How's everything with you? I hope everything is fine. Today we have the sibling of the previous letter. It's called غين. غين. And as for the ship, it looks the same as its sibling Ain. It only has a dot above. The sound is غ. غ. As its sibling, this sound too might be new to your ears and tongue. So, for more on how to pronounce غي, please check its episode in the alphabet series. غي in the isolated form is so simple. We draw one small C and one capital C. Then add the dot. Once more. One small C, one capital C. And the dot. Come on, try it on your own. And please, pronounce the sound as you draw it. Ra. Ra. In the initial position, Rain loses its tail to pave the way for the following letter. We draw the small c and continue into a connecting segment leading to the following letter. Then add the dot. Only the small c. Then a connecting segment and add the dot. In the medial position, Rhine changes its shape to facilitate drawing. Since it's in the medial position, we start from a connecting segment coming from the previous letter. Then we continue diagonally upward. Turn right for a short segment and move diagonally downward. Then turn left for a connecting segment leading to the following letter and add the dot. Please, notice how the pen moves. It's only one stroke. A connecting segment. Diagonally up. Right. Diagonally down. Then turn left and add the dot. In the final position, Rhine has the same shape as the medial position. In addition to the tail, start from the connecting segment, then add line in its closed form and add the tail. A connecting segment, the closed line, then the tail. Now, let's see some examples to check these different positions. In the initial position, Rhine loses its tail and has a connecting segment leading to the following letter. In the medial position, Rhine has a new shape to facilitate writing with two connecting segments, linking it to a preceding letter and a following one. In the final position, we also have line in its closed form, in addition to the tail. In this example, line took the shape of the initial position, although it's not at the beginning of the word. That's because it was preceded by a non-connecting letter. A letter that can't provide a connecting segment. Sometimes 
when ghayn comes preceded by a non-connecting letter, it comes as well in a final position. In this case, it stands alone, taking the isolated form. So, all in all, ghayn has four forms depending on its position in a word and whether it's preceded by a non-connecting letter or not. There is the initial position, the medial, final, and the isolated form. Please practice writing the four forms. You will find the writing sheet to help you with your practice on the link in the description box below. And remember to pronounce the sound of line as you draw it. Ra. Ra.